Joining us now are Father Matt Williams and Mal Carosa. I got that right right now? Yes. Good. I want to make sure. And uh, Father Matt is the director of the Office of New Evangelization in Youth and Young Adults. And this summer, some great opportunities will be made available for all ages. See how I say that? All ages. Probably not my age, though, because I'm out of that. You're I'm always welcome, Jay. We yeah, love well, I know, I know, but I, I'm out of it. Well, Father, there are some great events coming up uh, to kick off the summer, uh, Jesus in the North End and the famous Harbor Cruises. Tell us about these. Sure, absolutely. Well, one of the things uh, with our office we try to do is we're trying to walk with young people from pre-adolescence through young adulthood. Mm -hmm. So that reflects the mission of our office. So Jesus in the North Ends, as we know, once a month gatherings. It's the historic St. Leonard's uh, Church right in the North End of Boston. We start out with Eucharistic Adoration and then have Holy Mass. And then we go to one of the, the local restaurants for social and, and food and stuff like that. Um, the Harbor Cruises, we have a middle school Harbor Cruise and a high school Harbor Cruise. They've been going on probably since... It's probably since you were in high school, I would imagine, Father Reed, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah great experiences. Um, you know, a couple hours on the harbor with the DJ, and we have some things this year that we're going to mix it up a little bit and uh, just have an opportunity to be able to uh, present the faith a little bit so that way it has a little catechetical or ev evangelization thread in the midst of all the great fun and, and social activities going on. Great. Now, Mal, <laughs> you have been affected very much uh, by many of these events. Could, could you just tell us about one experience that you've had that really changed your life, particularly as a Catholic? Um, let's see. My favorite one I have to discuss is the one I just came from this past weekend. It was Witness to Truth About Love, and um, there was one part of it where Sunday after, I mean, it was Monday, after everything said and done, we had Mass, and um, it was right after Reconciliation the night before, and I prayed before I had Jesus, and it was just an overwhelming experience of just his love and his presence. Uh -huh. And it, it was just an amazing feeling of having him in our group and being there uh -huh. with us the entire time. I understand. Well, Father, there are three witness opportunities. There's witness of hope, truth, and love. What are these witness experiences, what are these retreats, uh, what are they all it about? It is not the witness protection program, Jay. It oh, well, that's okay. a point. <laughs> no, but we're called, uh, you know, as St. Francis says, preach the gospel at all times, and if you have to, use words, right? Mm -hmm. And so being a witness is helping to equip young people with the, the knowledge about our faith and the skills to be able to live it in the everyday virtuously and in service to the poor, service to each other, and helping to be able to articulate our faith and share it with other people. So um, Mal was talking about Witness the Truth About Love, which is basically our Theology of the Body uh, mm -hmm. retreat that we offer mm -hmm. um, as part of this. So basically it begins with Witness to, to Hope, and that's the middle school program, and we're really excited about that. That's coming up in, in the beginning part of August. And that uh, is geared towards middle schoolers and equips them with the basic, basic. if you remember the, the old Catholic Leadership Institute, it's the basics about leadership, uh, communication, uh, group processing, um, speaking in public, listening and talking and combining and things like that, as well as the basic elements of our faith in terms of prayer, understanding the sacraments and meaning of the Mass. And then all of that is, is, is brought through the lens of the corporal and spiritual works of mercy, and there are lots of fun, um, age-relevant age activities to do that. Then we have Witness the Truth, which is for high school teens, uh, which Mal, Mal is an alum, and that looks at the theological and moral virtues as well as Sean Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teenagers. Um, Mother Teresa and Hitler were both great leaders, but very different leaders, and this talks about character and that leadership begins with who I am in Christ and, and flowing out in terms of a virtuous life and then very practical skills. Mm -hmm. And then Witness to Love, we're excited. This is a pilot program this year. We're going on a mission trip. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to the Dominican Republic, El Factor, which is about a half hour, uh, I think, northwest of Santiago uh, as for a mission trip. So now this gives them an opportunity. Now that the kids, teens, have been through Witness the Truth, they, they begin to know who I am and what it means to, to live as a Catholic, and then they've been witnessed through the love. So looking at vocation, life, and love, understanding more, more effectively who they are and their call to be a gift mm -hmm. to others. Now we're going to go on mission to s in service to encounter the gift of Christ in, in our brothers and sisters and the poor, but also be able to offer a gift as well and help them understand the church's social teachings. Mm -hmm. and, and Mal, you know, you're an alum, an alum of, of most of these events, but now you're in the position 
to help be a leader and, and, and to, to help other young people uh, to come to a closer relationship both with Christ and with one another. That must be a very exciting thing for you. It is extremely exciting and overwhelming, but at the same time, I've not been trained, but I have great um, role models to look up to. Like and this guy right here? Yes. You, well, you sure about <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll be going with us to the DR. We're Severian, we're Severian by the way, just go. so you know. We're, we're, yeah, we're Severian guys. So, uh, do you enjoy it? Do you, do you really do? It's a, it's a great thing. I really do. I was, I, want, I don't want to say brought up, but freshman year of high school started, um, and I've just been going along with all the programs. I mean, literally, I'll get a phone call. Hey, Mal, do you want to come here? Oh, we're going to be doing this. Oh, mark this on your calendar. I'm like, sure, just write me in. I'll go. I'll find a way, and... I'll be there, so. And, and I asked Patty this before, Mel. You know, young, young people today, um, there's so many different distractions out there. Do you find that they are thirsting for their faith? Definitely. I believe it 100%. I mean, it's people look at me, and I go to church, and, um, you know, there's not a lot of teens and young adults mm -hmm. going to church and going to mass. And it's sad, but at the same time, all my friends ask me, you know, why are you so happy all the time? Why are you so joyful? Mm. They yearn, they they really want it, yeah. but they don't know it yet. Mm -hmm. And so I try to explain it to them best I can, but. Mm -hmm. And Father, where, where can people learn more? As we obviously we're yeah, on Yeah, absolutely. Show. If they go to our website, oneforboston.org, or check us out on Facebook under the same name, One for Boston. O N E, the number four, Boston. Oneforboston.org. Well, that's an easy one. Well, Father, thanks so much as always for being with us. Thank always you. a joy Thank you for when the you time. come in. Mal, so great to meet you. And you know what? Thank You're you also too. a great example to young people out there. So keep it up. Thank you. Keep so it up. Thank you.